The devotion of the Sacred Heart of Jesus was revealed by our Lord Himself to Saint Margaret Mary in several apparitions between 1673 and 1675. In this video, we'll be seeing the apparitions of our Lord and the history, and also the promises in detail. Saint Margaret Mary was born on July 25th in the year 1647. As a child, Saint Margaret had always shown an intense love for the Blessed Sacrament and preferred silence over playing. She made her first Holy Communion at the age of nine. Two years later, a rheumatic affliction kept her bedridden until she reached the age of 15. Being seriously ill, Saint Margaret sought refuge in the Blessed Virgin Mary. She made her a vow. that if she would heal her she would become one of her daughters immediately after making this promise saint margaret was recovered to health during this time her father died of pneumonia and so she and her mother faced difficulties as their relatives took their wealth and treated them like servants there was nothing they could do without their permission under these circumstances saint margaret's only consolation was the blessed sacrament The time came when Saint Margaret's mother and her relatives started to talk about marriage. Saint Margaret felt a lot of pressure. One day, her mother, incessantly weeping, told Saint Margaret that her only hope that would put an end to her misery was by marrying. Finally, Saint Margaret got convinced and thought that she was only a child when she made her vow and did not understand the meaning, and thus she could easily obtain dispensation from it. Saint Margaret therefore began to socialize. meet people and adorn herself in order to please others one night after attending a ball saint margaret had a vision of christ scorched and bleeding he showed her that his heart was full of love for her because of the promise she had made to his blessed mother as a child after this vision saint margaret was determined to fulfill the vow she made years ago finally she entered the vestation convent in the month of may in the year 1671 on december 27th on the feast of st john the apostle st margaret was kneeling as usual before the blessed sacrament exposed in the chapel this was the moment chosen by god for a great revelation as st margaret was praying in front of the blessed sacrament she was filled with jesus as presence to the extent that she forgot where she was One day I was praying before the blessed sacrament when I felt myself wholly penetrated with that divine presence but to such a degree that I lost all thought of myself and of the place where I was and abandoned myself to this divine spirit yielding up my heart to the power of his love he made me repose for a long time upon his sacred breast where he disclosed to me the marvels of his love and the inexplicable secrets of his sacred heart which so far he had concealed from me then it was that the first time he opened to me his divine heart my divine heart is so inflamed with love for men and for you in particular that being unable any longer to contain within itself the flames of its burning charity it must needs spread them abroad by thy means and manifest itself to them in order to enrich them with the precious treasures which i discover to you and which contains graces of sanctification and salvation necessary to withdraw them from the abyss of perdition then jesus asked saint margaret for her heart which she begged him to take he put her heart inside his own heart then when he pulled her heart out it looked like a flame jesus put the heart back in her he told that her burning heart would consume her until the end of her life after this he asked me for my heart which i begged him to take he did so and placed it in his own adorable heart where he showed it to me as a little atom which was being consumed in this great furnace and withdrawing it thence as a burning flame in the form of a heart He restored it to the place whence he had taken it saying to me See my beloved I give thee a precious token of my love having enclosed within thy sight a little spark 
of its glowing flames that it may serve thee for a heart and consume thee to the last moment of thy life its ardor will never be exhausted and thou will be able to find some slight relief only by bleeding as a proof that the great favor i have done thee is not imagination although i have closed the wound in thy sight the pain will always remain up to now thou had taken only the name of my slave i now give thee that of the beloved disciple of my sacred heart after this great favor saint margaret remained on fire she was also not able to sleep because of the pain of the wound which produced so much heat in this second great revelation our lord began to unfold his intentions and his promises the divine heart was presented to me in a throne of flames more resplendent than a sun transparent as crystal with this adorable wound and it was surrounded with a crown of thorns signifying the punctures made in it by our sins and a cross above signifying that from the first instant of his incarnation that is as soon as the sacred heart was formed the cross was implanted into it and from the first moment it was filled with all the sorrow to be inflicted on it by the humiliations poverty pain and scorn of his sacred humanity was to endure throughout his life and during his sacred passion and he made me see that he intensely desired to be loved by men and to snatch them from the path of perdition onto which satan was driving them in throngs it was this that made him decide to manifest his heart to men with all the treasures of love mercy graces sanctification and salvation it contained thus all who wanted to render to him and obtain for him all the love honor and glory in their power would be enriched with the abundance and profusion of these divine treasures of the heart of god which was their source this heart of god must be honored under the form of his heart of flesh whose image he wanted exposed and also worn on me and on my heart he promised to pour out into the hearts of all those who honor the image of his heart all the gifts it contains in fullness and for all those who would bear this image on their persons he promised to imprint his love on their hearts and to destroy all unruly inclinations everywhere this holy image was exposed to be honored he would pour forth his graces and blessings this blessing was as it were a final effort of his love he wanted to bestow upon men during these final centuries such loving redemption in order to snatch them from the control of satan whom he intended to destroy he willed to place us under the sweet freedom of his rule of love which he wanted to re-establish in the hearts of all who were willing to embrace this devotion In this apparition Jesus explained to Saint Margaret the marvels of his pure love and to what extent his love for mankind had gone although he received from them nothing but ingratitude Once among other occasions when the blessed sacrament was exposed after feeling completely drawn inward by an extraordinary recollection of all my senses and powers Jesus Christ my gentle master appeared to me resplendent with glory with his five wounds shining like five suns and flames issuing from every part of his sacred humanity but above all from his adorable breast which looked like a furnace and uncovering his breast he showed me his most loving and lovable heart which was the living source of these flames the lord then described to her exactly how the practice of devotion to his sacred heart would come about along with its purpose which is reparation you are to receive communion as often as obedience will permit you you are to receive holy communion on the first friday of each month during the night of thursday through friday i shall make you share in that mortal sadness that i willed to feel in the garden of olives being before the blessed sacrament one day of its octave i received from god signal tokens of his love and felt urged by the desire of making him some written and of rendering him love for love thou canst not make me 
a greater return of love than by doing what I have so often asked of thee. Then showing her his divine heart, Jesus said, Behold this heart which has loved men so much that it has spared nothing even to exhausting and consuming itself in order to testify to them its love. And in return, I receive from the greater number nothing but ingratitude by reason of their irreverence and sacrilegious and by the coldness and contempt which they show me in this sacrament of love. But what I feel the most keenly is that it is hearts which are consecrated to me that treat me thus. Therefore, I ask of thee that the Friday after the octave of Corpus Christi be set apart for a special feast to honor my heart. By communicating on that day and making reparation to it by a solemn act in order to make amends for the indignities which it has received during the time it has been exposed on the altars. I promise thee that my heart shall expand itself to shed in abundance the influence of its divine love upon those who shall thus honor it and cause it to be honored. <laughs>